Hi, you're looking at H2O Map Swim, and we're going to talk about how we define uh, LID or low impact development uh, controls inside of Innovices H2O Map Swim and InfoSwim. I'm Bob Dickinson, and thank you for listening. Okay, so here's our simple model. We have a subcatchment here as a rain gauge and outlet, um, area, impervious percentage, etc. It also has something called LID usage, which is uh, low impact development. Right now we have no controls. So how do we, how do we define the controls? Well, we come over here to Operation tab, come to LID, we're going to make a new LID unit, or control rather. And our options are um, bioretention cell. And what's nice in um, InfoSwim and h 2 Map Swim is that we have predefined defaults. So here's uh, the possibilities. We have bioretention bio cell, rain garden, go back one step. Uh, bioretention cell has four layers. It has surface, soil, storage, and under drain. We go to rain garden, it only has two layers. Same types of layers. So it's very, very nice the way uh, EPA and Lou Rosman have defined the LIDs inside of SWIM 5. It's basically common layers and a different combination of layers make the different um, LID types. So that's the rain garden. Here's green roof. There's three um, layers. Now we have a drainage map for the green roof. Infiltration trench. Here's a little picture. There's three layers for infiltration trench. Three different layers. Now we have permeable pavement. There's um, pavement. A little picture of the pavement. And there's four layers for, pavement, for permeable pavement. Rain barrel only has two layers. There's a storage layer and then an under drain. Under drain is the drain coefficient and the drain offset. And then finally we have vegetative swell and there's only one layer there where you have a berm. So it flows over the swell, goes to, down to the swell and then flows out. Right, you have a vegetative volume or fraction, roughness, slope and um, berm height. So it rains directly on the swale and then contributes um, either infiltration losses or other losses to the outflow. So that's how you define the uh, LID features there. So now we come over here back to, to this, go to LID usage, and now we can add a row, and we're going to call that our one uh, LID here. And we can have a variety of units here. Show detailed output, we get gra nice graphics for, for all the LID, and then and we'll send the pervious flow, I mean the outflow to the pervious area. So that's how you define the data for um, LIDs inside of InfoSwim, H2O Map Swim, and Swim 5. So thank you for listening. This has been Bob Dickinson of Innovice.